Hello everyone and welcome to Timothy's Tractors. I just picked up this X195 and I'm going to be putting my 12 inch wheel weights on them and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now these are the plastic wheel weights but the iron ones that they sell will go on the same way. So you'll see his slot in the wheel weight. Now that lines up with the valve stem so you can still check the tire pressure with the weights on. Settle in there. They're 50 pounds each but they're not that hard to put on. Just like that. Now you'll notice these bolts have three nuts on them, so uh, you're going to have two crammed up against each other actually, to keep the other one from loosening. So make sure this, uh, these two are tightened up against each other pretty tightly. And then just slide this bolt in from the back. So you can see there's two holes in the wheel weights and two holes in the wheels that we'll share. And slide this bolt all the way through like this. See, let me show you the dive in the back. And they will fit from the back. It'll be pretty tight, but you'll you'll be able to see the square holes in the wheel. Just like that. Now come on over to the front. You'll see that we've got these all the way through the weights now. And they stick out a little bit, so what we're gonna try to do is get one of these nuts on without pushing it back through. Just get that stud on there a little bit. We'll hold the back of it from spinning. And there's also a washer in each one of these weights in here that goes on before the nut. Like that. And then we'll come back over here and hold the back of it. You probably be able to hold it with your hand as we tighten the front with the three quarters. Just hold the back of this one. Get it started by hand. And those are on. Now don't go overly tight. You feel like you could just go and go and go. And that's because you probably could, because these are just plastic, and the washer is just going to sink deeper into that plastic and make grooves, and I wouldn't want them to crack. So then you'll just go over to the other side and do the exact same thing. So first, make sure these two nuts are crammed up against each other, get them tight, so they won't move. Line up the wheel weight inside the wheel with the gap in the wheel weight up against the valve stem, just like we did with the other one. About like that. And put in the long bolts from behind again. And the square holes in the wheel. come all the way through like that. Get one of these nuts started so it doesn't fall off on me. And tighten that up. Should just be able to hold the back by hand. Like that, good and snug. Sure that washer doesn't fall out and if it does put it back in you want to use that make sure they're both, both good and tight and there you go that's how you put your wheel weights on the back tires of your John Deere tractor thanks for watching <laughs>